Hello, today we're going to cover online team building and I'm going to share with you what I consider to be my top seven success tips. First of all, my name is Pat McTighe and I am a team leader and I'm going to share some of the top tips that I've accumulated over the years in my work from home experience. Uh, the first tip is set high standards. Well, when you're bringing people on your team, you want to uh, look for long-term partners. Stay away from uh, what we call the hit and runners, people that are just coming in and looking to you know, get rich today or tomorrow, and if they don't, they're going to be on their way. And I tell people this all the time, and they kind of think I'm crazy. Do not let just anyone join your team, because uh, you'll uh, be sorry if you do. Always remember that you're special, your team is special, and your time is valuable. So set high standards right from the very beginning and do not bring in a problem child. Second tip is make interested people move towards you. Very, very, very important uh, tip here. What you want to do is give new members a road map. Uh, you got your map here. You can even give them your GPS coordinates for their mobile devices, but uh, you're going to give them a road map. You're going to work with those that show sincere interest and typically the way you figure that out is those that do uh, what you tell them to do because you're going to give them some stuff to do and if they don't do what you tell them to do uh, you're you're probably not going to work with them long term even if you like them as a friend do not let me repeat do not chase people uh, do not beg people to join your business do not beg people to stay in your business uh, it, all those things are uh, the things that cause you a lot of heartache and uh, slow the growth of your team and always remember solid people move towards you they want to know what you know they want to do what you do they want to be successful like you are and uh, just remember when you're chasing you're doing the wrong thing the next one is do an honest assessment uh, of the effort required you know, the couple here is on their computer watching a movie munching on popcorn uh, that's all well and good we all need downtime but if that's their number one reason to be on the computer they may not be who you want on your team because folks this is a business it takes work very much work at the beginning no matter what the opportunity is and how uh, experienced you are at the beginning it takes work just flat does there's no way around it I'm always looking to find the serious versus the curious and so should you by that I mean somebody that's going to give you a 90 day 180 day commitment not a nine hour commitment and uh, I just tell people straight out if you have one to five hours a week to work your home based business uh, it, that's not going to cut it at least not on my team so I always try to do an honest assessment of uh, what people have uh, at the beginning not at the end only accept the best everyone has problems a lot of people have some pretty serious problems right now and what we need are uh, people to be at least functional. This poor guy here has his eyes bugging out of his head. He's in you know, pretty serious duress, as I call it. And uh, we don't necessarily want to uh, have a lot of those kind of people on our team. People need to be functional. They need to have basic needs and skills covered. If it costs money to come in a program and a person doesn't have any money, bringing them into your program is not going to help you and it's not going to help him or her. And one of my buddies uh, coined this phrase a couple years ago to me and uh, it's always stuck with me. You cannot run an adult daycare center. You know, you just, you just can't do that. You'll go nuts. So you'll only accept the best people and you'll be happy that you did. Next uh, item is test new members early and often. When somebody comes on the team, don't give them a month to get their feet on the ground. Give them some stuff to do at the beginning. And then the next step is tech, uh, check on the task completion. Make sure they're getting done what they're supposed to be. And if they don't know what to do, go back and make sure they understand what the task is. And then give them feedback, both positive and negative, because that's how people grow is from feedback. And people, you know, good, solid people live for feedback. And if somebody doesn't want feedback, then you probably have got the wrong person on your uh, team. And then move the doers along quickly. You know, if somebody is excelling, don't keep them into grunt work unless that's the work you need to get done because uh, the movers and shakers want to move and they want to shake. 
So this little picture here is, you know, people have to get the puzzles, puzzle pieces in place to get the profit. Give them that test and see who is uh, who's going to get that done quickly. And the cream definitely rises to the top. Next one is always be looking for the next you. You know, you're always looking for new leaders. And this is probably the most key point in the whole presentation here. Developing your next generation of leaders will make you wealthy. You're not going to do it all by yourself. If you try to do it all by yourself, you'll burn out, you'll be very unhappy, and you won't make a lot of money. So always be on the lookout for the next star, and you never know who they are. And this picture shows even a person that's direct to you may be a question mark, and the leader may be a, a level or two or three down in the organization. Uh, there always are diamonds in the rough, so you always want to be assessing uh, what you have as far as your next leader. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close down this video. Always remember, success leaves clues. You want to follow people that know what they're doing. You want to get on a team that's successful. And this is Pat from Pennsylvania. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video. I sure hope you learned something. Have yourself a great day. Goodbye.